want to find the rate law, it, it, there's a couple problems. <laughs> First of all, you notice what's missing. I didn't even write the overall. Whatever. Uh, how would I find the overall if I wanted it? Yeah, if you add all three, you'll get the overall reaction. Okay. Um, the other problem, the slow step's not labeled. So that's another problem. We'll have to use our pseudo steady state hypothesis. And you'll find other stuff <laughs> in addition to that. So it'll make this problem a tad difficult. Uh, intermediates, what are, what is it? Uh, it, CL, can you see how CL is going to cancel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so intermediate, I'll put it up here, intermediate, CL. Is there another one? Uh, the uh, C, C, CL3, yeah. So there's another problem. There's more than one intermediate. Uh, and I've got a couple questions of how do I know which intermediate to start with? You're going to start with the one in the rate law. Okay. Now, which one, one, two, or three, am I going to uh, use for my rate law answer? I'm going to use three, and the reason is that produces my main product. So this one produces an intermediate. One and two both produce an intermediate. CCL4. Uh, carbon tetrachloride is not one of my intermediates, so I'm going to use rate three. Question? For my answer, yeah. Why wouldn't you use uh, rate two if HCl is in? HCl is also a product. Uh, however, uh, CCl is one of my intermediates, so I'm going to pick the one that just has a product mm -hmm. and not an intermediate. Okay? All right. So my answer is rate 3 equals K3, CL, CCL3. How's that? Unfortunately, both intermediates are in my answer right now. And that's going to cause quite a disaster. So uh, what I'm going to do uh, is a couple things. First, I'm going to use my PSSH. And now in this problem, it's kind of a puzzle because if you do it sort of in the wrong order, uh, it's unsolvable. So you have to figure out what order it is. And so how do you figure out if it's the right order? It's basically by trial. So if you try something and you say, I cannot solve this algebra equation, it's too complicated, try another method of attack. For example, let me tell you what I mean. I could use PSSH on either one of these. One of them is going to make the problem really simple. The other one is going to be unsolvable. Okay? So you just try both and see what you get. All right? Uh, so it's hard for me to pretend which one to pick because I already know which one I want to pick. But you would have to guess. Uh, Oh, let's pick the CCL3, I guess. Uh, I can do the other one in a minute if you'd like to see how that will work. Okay. Uh, so, where does this, so we're going to do rate of appearance equals rate of disappearance. Where does it appear? Rate 2. Okay, where does it disappear? Rate 3. There it is. Uh, and let me pause for a second there. Let's just try the CL for fun. It sounds like several people are excited about that. Uh, I'll do a different color. If you wanted to do this for the CL, rate of appearance equals rate of disappearance. Where does it appear? Rate one, I guess that's it. Where does it disappear? Rate two, three, and rate one reverse. 
Can you kind of see how this is going to get uber complex immediately? It's going to get uber complex for a couple reasons. One is there's just so many things versus this one, so many rates. Uh, and if you actually plug in those uh, the rate expressions, like uh, this one would be K1 uh, Cl2, this one would be K1 prime Cl squared. Here you're going to have a Cl squared, here you're going to have a Cl, here you're going to have a Cl. What kind of equation is that? A quadratic equation. So you'd have to use a quadratic formula. Can you see why this is becoming unsolvable? I'll say that again. Here you'd have a Cl squared. Here you'd have a Cl. Here you'd have a Cl. Uh, and here you wouldn't even have a Cl. So that would be uh, a quadratic formula. You'd have to minus b plus minus squared b squared. As soon as you start writing that down, it's going to be totally impossible. Does that make sense? So uh, if it gets that difficult, you're going the wrong direction. So that's why I wouldn't use this one. Okay? Here, whatever. We got R2 equals R3. That's super easy. Uh, both have a CLA. Okay. So what kind of thing can I do to find a simpler expression for CL? Uh, 